example 23, we're going to calculate the sample standard deviation for the following numbers, 2, 9, 5, 7, 4, and 2. If you're working out the sample standard deviation, you basically are going to calculate the sample variance, and then you're going to take the square root. Because remember that the standard deviation is just the square root of the sample variance. So let's work out the sample variance first, and then we'll do the square root at the end to produce our standard deviation. Your first step is going to be to get your sample size n. Let's count on how many values we have. One, two, three, four, five, six values. The next thing you want to do is take the values that were given to you and put them in a column called x. So I have two, nine, five, seven, four, and two. You're going to do the next column next to that by creating something called x squared. So you're going to square all these values, right? 4, 81, 25, 49, 16, and 4. All right, now that you have the two columns created, your next step is to sum the columns. So 2 and 9 makes 11, 5 and 7 make 12, 11 and 12 make 23, 23 and 6 make 29, right? And then we have, what, 20, and then call that uh, 70, 150, 179, basically. Okay, so those are the sums of the two columns. We'll call this the summation of x, and we'll call this the summation of x squared. The reason why I'm calling this the summation of x is because this number 29 came from summing the x column, and this number 179 came from summing the x squared column. All right, now from there we're going to calculate the sample variance. Remember that s squared is equal to n times the square root, I mean, sorry, the summation of x squared minus the summation of x quantity squared divided by n times n minus 1. Okay, so we're just going to fill in these values. We have all of them here, so we actually it's pretty simple to do. We're just going to say, hey, the n here is 6. This guy here, the sum of x squared, well, that's this guy, right? 179, so times 179. Minus something squared. What's the something we're squaring? The sum of x, which is 29. And then we'll divide by n, which is 6, times n minus 1, which, of course, is 5. OK, so let's work that out in our calculator. What I think you should do if your calculator is not easy to work with is to work the top out separately and then divide by the bottom. If you have a calculator like mine, it's easy to put the top in parentheses, hit the divide by symbol, put the bottom in parentheses, and that will work as well. I'm going to do it like I described first, though, just putting it into the calculator in parts. So I'm going to do the top part first. So 6 times 179 minus 29 squared, and we get the answer 233. And then we're going to divide that by 30. So I'll just hit divide by 30 after that, and I get the answer 7.76 repeating. Now that's your variance though. We want the standard deviation. So the next step is to take the square root of our answer that we got for the variance, right? Square root of 7.76 repeating. Try to give it at least a couple of these decimal places, so if you're not going to just leave it in your calculator and hit the square root from there, Try to type in a few extra sixes at the end and then round off to seven. You know, that will make sure that you don't get a rounding error. All right, so I'm just going to raise my answer that's in my calculator to the half power. If you raise a number to the half power, it's the same as taking the square root. And we get the answer then for S, 2.787. And that's it. That's your sample standard deviation.